Hello, this is Eric of Not Bios, and I'm here today to talk about the Heathco or Heath Zenith lights. Now, the motion sensor itself has its own issues, but the issue is not necessarily the motion sensor. In fact, the issue is part of the unit is overly sensitive, and this on off issue, or it turns on and off like every five seconds, it's not that it's faulty, it's that. It's being overly sensitive. I go from the most basic down to other solutions because some solutions might not work. Maybe you don't want to have to deal with a light that's not bright enough or maybe you don't have to deal with the fact of the daytime sensor won't work. There are hybrid solutions and we'll find that out here. Now let's get started. So right off the bat, I had an issue, so I called Heathco. Heathco, their solution was to get a dimmable bulb. Well, if it was a dimmable bulb issue, it'd be flicking on and off really quickly. Or not turning on at all. So right now we have a problem with this light turning on and off about every 5 seconds, cycling on and off. So the next solution that may be usable is just simply using a dimmer bulb. The bulb that was in here before was 60 watt coolant. Now I'm using a 40 watt coolant. You may want more light. But you notice it's not flicking on and off anymore. I am back to the first bulb I was using, that's 60 watt coolant. And yet, no flick on off. It's working just as it should. And the reason why is the flaw to the design is the back side is white. I can see for consistency. But I put a black piece of cardboard here and a black piece of cardboard here. It could be painted. You could actually just put a black piece of sheet here. But you notice right where the sensor eye is? You can't see it as well. Because white color bounces light. So now back to our five second cycle on off. Now that I remove the black cardboard. So what happens if I put the cardboard back in place that's stopping the light bouncing. Well let's find out. Look how much lights there. Okay? We're not changing anything except grabbing the cardboard. Now I'm gonna put that cardboard right here. One, two, three, four, five, six Seven. Oh, no more light cycling. Well, I'll be darned. It seems that it's just the amount of light reaching that sensor eye. It's a little too sensitive, it seems. So, the main solution that will make this work flawlessly is covering the photo sensor. The photo sensor detects light. If you cover the photo sensor with tape like this, light will not affect this lamp for turning on or off. It simply is a motion sensing light. You can see there's light leaking out to the top. Any light leakage we want to remove. And I put silicon back in the edge. And as you see the sensor is not clear anymore. Because I made some modifications. So right now I have a 60 watt equivalent light bulb in here. And the one I was recording with the lower power light bulb is right here. So I'm going to clean this up, repaint this white. And as you see I also change this to be unclear as well. So to reduce some light. So this way I don't have to make a mess to fix the problem. So my solutions involve some white silicone along that top edge where the light was leaking through. Removing this light leak might remove the entire issue altogether. If you're wondering how I made it foggy rather than uh, clear is I got some nail polish just for that very purpose and my sister can now use this painting the back end well that's permanent and kind of messy so honestly maybe you'd want to avoid that or use some tape and color the tape and put it over so you can at least rip it off one day just to elaborate some more on different details here if you use any paint or nail polish you'll avoid your warranty have yourselves a wonderful day and thank you for watching.
This is not Biostech and Hot.